Welcome to Matt's Zone HD Sportsnet, presented by the JMU Alumni Association. We're joined by track and field head coach Cherie Hicks for another coach's show. Coach, thanks for joining us. Thank you. So we actually haven't talked to you in a couple weeks, and that is because when we all thought outdoor season was going to start, the Virginia Cup, hosted by UVA, was actually canceled due to inclement weather. So how did that sort of affect you and the team's plans and maybe disappoint some people who were ready for outdoor season to get going? Well, it disappointed everyone because it was it took away another opportunity to compete. Um, a lot of times, especially with track and field, as we gear up for our championship season, which would be the CAAs during outdoor ECA season, NCAAs, it's always good to have that um, a good number of meets under our belt because that's part of our preparation, that's part of our practice is to be able to apply our practice to the competitions and then just keep getting better at that as the season goes along. So it definitely hurts. It takes away that opportunity. Yeah. We were definitely able to get the outdoor season started this previous weekend with mm -hmm. the Raleigh Relays hosted by NC State. It's a really big meet. Uh, but the team had a lot of success. What did you think of the team's performance? I thought that overall performances across the board, it was a good start. Um, definitely want to see us, we still have work to do, and I definitely want to see us get better th towards the season as we progress for championship season, as I just stated yeah. before. But, no, I thought it was a really good start. I mean, Kathleen Stewart and that 10K was an exciting race to watch. Uh, just me as a former thrower, it was just exciting to just watch and the way that she kept in the race and the way that she kept competitive. And she looked really smooth running, and it looked like an easy 10K. <laughs> I know, that's an oxymoron. That a thing, that's an oxymoron. <laughs> but it was a really exciting race to watch. It was good for her to get that out of her way. It takes the stress off of her. So that was a great uh, start to that weekend as well. Then you had Olivia in her first 3K steeplechase, and she qualified for USA Juniors. I mean, there were so many different things. And you had Carol, uh, had her PR. There was so many, so many in ECACs. So actually, she wasn't too far from her PR. I think she was only like three seconds or so, which is still really good. Um, to open up with, that's really good when she ended – the season with that, if I'm correct, um, from last season. Mm -hmm. So there were so many different things in that where we picked off from where we left off from indoor season or even last year. So um, good start, even though we missed our Virginia Cup. It was a good start. Yeah, you did have at the Raleigh Relays five ECAC qualifiers and mm -hmm. four new entries into the record books and the top ten lists for mm -hmm. outdoor events. So how do you sort of, um, you know, take that in stride and then build on it as you go through outdoor season? Well, you just keep, keep chipping away at it. It's a work in progress. Every meet is a work in progress as we get through the season. Um, oh, and I did forget to mention Ariel Scott and her PR in the 100 uh, hurdles. Um, so just keep chipping away at it each week at a time, each practice at a time. And uh, just take the competitions and use those opportunities for our best. Yeah, and you'll have your next chance to build on that mm -hmm. with the Colonial Relays. This upcoming weekend it begins on Friday, April 1st. Um, so you sort of alluded to, you know, keep building on what you've done already. But what do you really hope to see specifically from this meet? Oh, specifically, we have a great group of distance runners going in. We have a larger group. Actually, all the throwers will be competing. Two of the freshmen will be competing in new events, um, the hammer and throw. And then you also have the uh, sprints, you have the uh, relays going on. So there's so many different things. We definitely want to improve upon our time, get a four-by-one time out there. Um, yeah, that's about it. It's the same thing. Keep chipping away. It's our second meet of the season. Um, some people will be competing for the first time this season. Get okay. at it. Mm -hmm. Well, definitely uh, stay tuned to jmusports.com and jmu track and field on Twitter for all the updates you'll need.